Hello everybody, this is part one in a series of five videos in which I'll show you how to install a basic ADA environment on a Slackware system. The specific box we're installing on is Slackware 64-bit Slackware version 13.37. It's a full install. The only thing I've done is add PostgreSQL and TextLife and create an unprivileged user named Thomas. In this first version, uh, first video, we're going to focus on installing the GNAT EPL 2011 ADA compiler. You can get that at the libra.adacore.com website. Uh, there's already an ADA compiler uh, in Slackware, as you can see here, it's version 4.5.2. It's a fairly ancient compiler, it's not really suitable for what we're going to be doing today where we will install the Florist POSIX library, uh, XML ADA, GNAP call, and the ADA web server component AWS. But uh, first things first, the compiler. Let's start by unpacking the package here. This is the plain old tarball, really. There we go directory there, change into that one, and as you can see we have a do install script, let's execute that, there we go, it'll ask you some questions, first one, just press return to continue, and they'll ask you whether you want to install it, the default is usr forward slash gnat, we'll go with that, so just return again, uh, you're absolutely sure, yes, just press compile and continue, and do we, do we want to install? Yes, we want to install, and off it goes. There we go, that's done. As you can see the installer tells us to add the uh, USR GNAT bin to our path. Do that. See, even though we've installed the compiler, we execute yeah, make here. We're still at version 4.5.2. So I'll add these to the bash rc path. There's the path. There we go. Do the same for that. Oops. And then while we're here, we'll add the two ADA-specific environment variables. Use by the G sharp build and can't make tools. This one, the ADA project path environment variable, is actually deprecated as far as I know, but I'll add it just in case. There we go, save the path. Source it. And finally, off the netmate command again. As you can see now, we're going to make GPL 2011. So that's it. It's a brand new ADA compiler on the system. Obviously, if you're seeing this video and sometimes in, 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 into the future, you might have another version, 2012, 13, or whatever it might be, then the install procedure should be much the same. At, le it, at least it's been like this since uh, version 2008, where I started using ADA. Now, I told you in the beginning that I created an unprivileged user called Thomas because I intend to install all the other packages as as Thomas. So in order of that to work, we really need to change ownership of the usr.gnet directory. Whoops. There we go. Usr.gnet. Now Thomas owns everything. Obviously you can do this as, as, as it suits you, as long as you have permissions to install into this library or into this directory, everything should be great. Now Thomas is also going to need the uh, path variables 
user of net business path and the GPR project path and edit project path. So let's just add those to his bash rc file also. go see Thomas now has these files also so that's it that's part one of the of this of the series we now have an, an ADA compiler in part two we're going to be installing the florist uh, GPL 2011 POSIX library thank you